Got a bit exciting in the last half an hour last night. It did, yeah. Uh, Angela Matthews has done that to us before and yeah, had a similar sort of feeling to it, uh, to the MCG about what, 12 or 14 months ago. Uh, yeah, with 10 or 15 overs to go, we thought we had it in the bag and yeah, just let our guard down a little bit and they sort of got on a bit of a roll and um, yeah, luckily for us this time it went our way. So uh, pretty happy to take the points out of that game. So, but overall you would have been happy with the team performance. I think Clark, you said last mm. night, apart from that last half an hour, it was a pretty good effort. It was a good effort, and I think in the first game we set, a, set ourselves a pretty high standard. Um, I think, as Michael Clark said last night, where we really need um, one of our top order to, to go on and make a big score. That'll, that'll get us up to you know, a really a really competitive total. I think 230. You're not going to win every game with 230. So um, yeah, we, we picked out a few things of the game that, that we really need to uh, really need to improve on. But yeah, overall, to, to get the result there, and, and I think to bowl the way we did, we're we're pretty happy with that. What were those things that you picked out? You need to improve on. Well, like I mentioned, it was probably um, you know one of one of our top four really going on and making a, a big score. Uh, I think with Clarkie making 60, I think you know 230 is not always going to win you those games. So um, that was that was one real key issue. And then and then to take the foot off the off the accelerator uh, late in the game, uh, like like we probably have done before, uh, was just another thing that we didn't quite nail. But um, like I said, to to get the get the result we wanted was was great and um, yeah, no, no damage done really. You must be pretty happy with the way you bowled last night? Yeah, pretty happy to sort of sneak in there. Uh, I've sort of recognised that getting off to a good start personally uh, into my spell is, is usually turns out um, a good performance overall. So yeah, luckily sort of snuck in a few cheap overs and, and uh, took a couple of nice wickets in the end. Hus being rested a big chance for Mitchell Marsh or maybe Peter Forrest get a chance? Yeah, it will be. It'll be a great opportunity for, for one of those two guys. Um, well, I think we're playing some pretty good cricket at the moment, so it's going to be tough to, to change that winning lineup. But yeah, it'll be, it'll be a great opportunity for one of those two to, to come in and, and really make an impact. And um, yeah, India will be pretty keen to knock us off after after we we uh, touched them up the the MCG last week. Uh, the, um, Clark sort of said that there was a question before the game. You know, four pa- four prong pace attack. No, no. So Doherty's playing. Uh, that's definitive. How'd you find bowling on the wacker? Because there's been a lot of conjecture that spinners just don't enjoy bowling there. I think it's a great place to bowl. The, the times I've played here in domestic cricket, the, getting that extra bounce, um, although I don't, probably don't turn it as much as some other spinners, getting that extra bounce is, uh, uh, particularly against some of the subcontinent teams, it's, it's a real advantage. So um, I love bowling there last night and I've uh, managed to, to hit the footmarks a couple of times as well, which is one thing that the wacker does produce is, is some big footmarks. So uh, I love coming to, to Perth and, and bowling here. Jay, what Adelaide? Adelaide's a great, yeah, once again, a great place for spinners to bowl. Um, keep it nice and straight, and um, there's obviously enough assistance in the wicket to, to help out the spin. So, uh, yeah, lo- and one of the most beautiful grounds in the world. So, looking forward to getting there. Form wise, how do you feel you're going at the moment? And I suppose looking at the bigger picture, everybody says test matches are the pinnacle. So, yeah. are you thinking of that at all? Oh, no, I'm not thinking of it at the moment, but ideally, yeah, down the track, I'd, lo- I'd love to sort of get back in there. Um, Nathan Lyon's done a great job since he's come in. and. Um, he's going to be, you know, a tough one to sort of move out of there. But um, yeah, hopefully down the down the track another opportunity will present itself. I wasn't that wrapped with the with the way I bowl when I did get my chance. So um, yeah, probably thinking a bit more long term there. But hopefully it does happen again. As a bowler, how have you changed since you, you had your first shot there? Oh, look, I haven't changed too much. I guess it's pro- as, a, as a spin bowler, you're just sort of banking on experiences and, and getting back and really working hard on your game. And um, but like I mentioned, it's not really. Uh, in, in the frame for me at the moment, I'm just concentrating on what I can do in the, in the coloured clothes. So. Just back to the game last night, did Jay Warden's uh, comments before the game saying maybe the first, fourth and fifth balls might be the weakness that fire you up at all? No, not really. We didn't really speak about it. We met, we saw it in the papers the day before and um, he's probably spotting the money. We are missing a, you know, a few key blokes that have been a big part of this lineup over the last few years. So. Um, I, I don't think there's too much in it. He's a, he's a pretty nice guy and uh, I don't think he'd sort of go out of his way to, to put us off. So. Is it much in between the other two sides, India and Sri Lanka, as far as Australia is concerned, or is there one particular nation you feel you maybe have got the wood over? Oh, I don't think we've we've really got the wood. I think we're playing some pretty good cricket. Um, no matter who we're playing against, we're we're going to be pretty competitive. Um, I think all summer we've, we've got got ourselves on a bit of a roll. We're preparing really well. Uh, we're going into the games knowing, you know, what, whatever the opposition, we're going to we're going to put up a pretty good fight. So I think that's just that's just been the theme of the the, the team all year. I think. How do you rate the two opponents? How do I rate it? Yeah. Um, is one better than the other, in your opinion? Oh, not really. I guess you look at you look at um, the Indian team. They've obviously got a pretty solid batting lineup and, and, and quite a few key players along there in their list. But uh, well, it's pretty it's pretty hard to split them on it.
It's been a pretty big season for you also domestically, you know, a bit of leadership with the captaincy there at Tasmania, Payne away and yep. Bailey or in the Hurricanes. Do you feel now you can bring a bit of that into the Australian team and, and you've now you know, earned your spot, you're not looking over your shoulder at some of the other spinners around the country? Uh, I, I, I guess you're always sort of feeling out of that. I think that's the great thing about Australian cricket. There's always sort of guys wanting to take your spot. So um, I think that pressure's always sort of going to be there. I don't think... And, that, and that's that's a, that's a good thing for me, I think. Um, as far as the, the leadership sort of thing goes, uh, I really enjoyed my time, you know, captaining Tasmania and the Hurricanes. It was great for my cricket to to really be under the pump, you know, for, for the entire 40 overs um, and, and in the Shield game as well. You know, you, you, you're constantly thinking and uh, any captain you speak to, whether they're in charge of the game or not, you know, they're always thinking like the captain and, you know, starting to feel like that as well. So um, I'm not haven't quite got the confidence to, to run up to Pup and, and start sort of shooting ideas at him, but, you know, hopefully down the track that'll come.